I am Anil Kumar and on request of my subscribers here is another video on input output machine. We will see how to develop explicit rule for input output machine. So what is input output machine? Basically we are looking at a kind of a machine right let me make a big one here looking at a machine in which if you provide some input right some numbers here is the input here we call this as the input right and then it churns out some outputs right so we provide some inputs here so let's call this input it gives you some output so whatever operation is performed inside the machine that actually changes the input to a different kind of an output and that's the kind of machine we have we need to find out the rule right that's what we will be working towards so so what we do here is we just take some values so let me make some tables here and we'll write down some values for input and output let's say this is input right and this is output we'll take very simple values let's say uh, for the input, we just feed in numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, let's say, likewise, right? So these numbers could be any number, right, any natural number, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. And let's write down some outputs for these numbers. Uh, let me write uh, output as 2, and then let me increase it by 2 each time. So. If I increase 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, likewise, right? Now the question here is, we know how the input changes. Input is increasing by 1, starting with 1. Output is increasing by 2, starting with 2, right? So we do, we do know how input-output is changing. But if I want to find that if input is 100, what should be the output? Well, output should be 2 more than the previous number, right? So, since we are adding 2 each time. Now, that means we have to continue to 99 to get our answer. That is time consuming, right? That is why we have these kinds of questions. How directly we can find a relation between input and output? Well, let's look into that part now. How can I get 2 from 1? How can I get 4 from 2? And how can I get 6 from 3? That seems to be simple. You can multiply by 2, okay? You can multiply by 2 to get the result. So our input-output machine, this one, actually multiplies each input by 2. And we get our output. Well, we've done that one. This is simple. Let's do another one, okay? So this time, again, uh, I'll just make values like this. And this is going to be slightly more difficult than what you had last time. Okay, this that one was very simple, right? So let me write in and out this time, in short. Uh, and we'll keep up to the same numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And we are worried about finding the value for 100. Previously, times 2 gave us 200, so that should be the answer, right? In this case, let us start with, uh, uh, let us say 2 again, but this time we'll add 3, right? So add 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, and so on. Now, what is my input-output machine doing? This is what you have to find, right? So let's say this is my input-output machine this time, right? It's the second one. We have seen it takes in some input, right? and churns out numbers in the output. What is the operation here? So that 1 becomes 2, 2 becomes 5, 3 becomes 8, 4 becomes 11, and so on. Hmm. What we observe here is, this time we are not adding 2, but we are adding 3. We are adding 3 this time. Okay. Now that means 3 has to do something. Last time when we added 2, we multiplied by 2, right? Now this time, let's multiply by 2, or rather 3, because we are adding 3 each time. So let's do times 3. Does that help? 1 times 3 is 3. Oh, we need 2, not 3. What can I do now? Well, let me take away 1 to get 2. Okay, let's try. 
1 times 3 is 3. 3 take away 1 is 2. It works. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 take away 1 is 5. 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 take away 1 also works. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 take away 1 is 11. It works. So what should be here? Hmm. Times 3 less 1. 300 less 1, 299. Do you see that? So, we kind of have got a rule here. So, that is to say, this number, which we say common difference, right? Common difference. So, look at common difference. Now, that common difference is you need to multiply with. Does it make sense? Let me do something else, uh, one more example, and then we will see if it really makes some sense to us. Input and output, and again, let me feed in the same numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Let's go up to 100, and uh, output, let's start with 2, okay, just to maintain some symmetry, right? Okay, this time what we will do is, uh, we'll go up by, by 4 instead of 3, so 4 plus 2, is 6, 6 plus 2, 4, 10, then we get 14, and so on. In this case, what should be the rule? Well, we figured out that uh, the common difference plays a role as a multiplier, right? So this is uh, 4, we are adding 4, correct? We are adding 4, okay. So what? So that means uh, we should multiply the input by 4, and then check what to do with the with the output to get. So we have input and output. If I multiply 1 by 4, what do I get? I get 4, not 2. How do I get 2? Well, take away 2. Okay. Let's do that. So the rule which we have got for this one is times 4 minus 2. Hmm. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. It works. 4 times 3 is 12, 12 minus 2 is 10, that also works, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 minus 2 is 14, it works. So this number should be 4 times 100 minus 2. So 400 minus 2 is 398, right? So what did we do? 100 times 4 minus 2, right? That gave us 400 minus 2 and the number 398. Do you see that? So we can very easily find a rule which relates input with output. Now since we can directly find the answer for any number, for example, if I write 50 here, the rule is times 3 minus 1. 50 times 3 is 150. 1 less than 150 is 149. If I write 50 here, Rule is times 2, this number should be 100. And if I write 50 here, times 4 is 200, minus 2 is 198. So we can directly get the answer. And that is what we call explicit rule. Do you understand explicit rule now? That rule adding 2 is called recursive, right? So this is recursive. And this rule which you are writing is explicit rule. Do you get it? So that is how we can actually find the explicit rule for any input-output machine, right? Now here is a question for you. And this time, I'm not going to start with two. Those are very simple, right? Those are really very simple. We just found them all, right? This time, I'm going to start with some other number, okay? And I'm going to make it very, very difficult for you and uh, hmm so what we will do is uh, I'm just thinking um, okay this time we are going to add and then then do something else and that is to say uh, let's go up by fives this time okay instead of four we'll go by five we'll keep one one trend at least so we'll go by fives we'll do Difference of oh, I wrote four. Difference of five. But what number should I start with? I'm just thinking. So five times two is ten. Uh, let me make it twelve. 
okay so 5 more than 12 is what 5 more than 12 is 17 5 more than 17 will be 10 more than 12 will be 22 right so so that is how it will be and this number is going to be 7 so now the pattern for you is for each input output is given if input is 1 output is 7 2 12 3 17 4 22 what should be the input output rule right so now you can pause the video answer this question right this is the last one answer this question and check with my solution i'll still give you the solution here okay i need to really help you out so we know five it should be multiplied with since the difference is five right 17 minus 12 is five that is also 5. So you are multiplying by 5. But if I multiply 1 by 5, what do I get? I get 5. How do I get 7? Well, this time we should add something to 5. We are going to add 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. Correct? That gives us the result. Let us check. What is 5 times 4? 20. 20 plus 2 is 22. So for the number 100, it should be 100 times 5 plus 2 502 right that number should be 502 simple as that so this rule which I am talking about the explicit rule for any input output machine can be found so easy do you understand so that is a technique which I hope will help you a lot in finding rules for input output machine Amanil Kumar you can share and subscribe my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.